Olivia. Happy Thursday. Um, I haven't really gotten a chance to kind of pop in yet today. It was pretty busy at work and um, I didn't really pop in last night. I wasn't feeling too well, so I kind of passed out pretty early. I just didn't feel like turning on my camera. Um, I didn't get any reading done either. I did bring Melmoth to start today and I got through like 10 pages or so on my lunch. But other than that, that's like really all the reading done I've done for the readathon. I was listening to um, I was listening to Good Omens on my way home from work because I am trying to finish up the audiobook before the end of the month. I am almost done. I've got like a couple hours left on the audiobook, so I think I'm since I'm going to take a quick little nap, I might put the audiobook on. Um, I don't know how much reading I'm going to get done tonight because I do have three videos I have to edit and upload. Um, I, yesterday I filmed my wrap up and my haul and then I have a reading vlog which I filmed two weeks ago and haven't really got a chance to edit so I'll probably do some editing tonight and then I might pick up Melmoth a little later but I just wanted to pop in say hello happy Thursday hope everyone's wit day is going well hope everyone's having a good week um, I've had a pretty long work week which is weird because it was kind of short um, I still worked Monday, but it was only a four hour shift, so it's like kind of a short week, but it feels like it's really long and I haven't really got a lot of reading done. I'm like losing steam, so I am um, hoping that the weekend will kind of re revive me and get some more reading and then next week is a new week, so hopefully I can get some reading done um, tonight and the rest of the week, but I hope everyone's having a great day and I will check in with you guys a little bit later. Bye! Hey guys, so it's about 6.30, um, I'm checking in to let you guys know that I actually finished Good Omens um, by Terry Crouch and Neil Gaiman. I was listening to the audiobook when I got home, um, just kind of relaxing from the day and taking a little power nap. Um, really, really great. Loved it. Gave it four stars. Um, but that is not for this read -on. Um, But it is counts as reading, so I'm going to include it. And I have been um, editing my... Um, I've actually been editing my readathon vlog, so that's been taking up most of my evening. I ordered food. I got a pizza. It should be here pretty soon. And then I'll probably watch an episode of something, maybe Buffy, um, while I eat, and then dive into Melmoth in about an hour and a half or so. Um, kind of just, just a chill night, um, but I figured I'd pop in and let you guys kind of know the progress. See you guys later. Bye. on day five. Um, I didn't pop in last night because I honestly didn't read very much. I spent most of my night editing my 24-hour readathon vlog, um, which is exporting, so it should be uploaded today. Um, but I did want to pop in and say I did read like 10 pages or so last night in Melmoth, um, so I'm up to page um, 17. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take this with me to work today and read it on my break and my lunch it on my breaks and my lunch and then I found an audiobook that I'm gonna go ahead and start on my walk there my um on my walk to work or walk home from work. Um I found a book that was been on my TBR, a book that's really short and then book that's also a sequel so it's gonna be able to count for the readathon and that is In an Absent Dream which is the fourth book in the Wayward series our We Were Children series. Um, I'm finally happy that I was able to find it on script, so I'm going to go ahead and listen to that because I think it's only like a four-hour audiobook, um, and it's technically a sequel, so I can count it for the readathon. 
Um, and I always like to have, a, you know, an audiobook, a physical book. Um, I'm also wearing my uh, book shirt today. It says, perfectly content with a good book and a hot cup of coffee. For me, it's iced coffee, but I um, feel like it was fitting for today. And it's Friday, so it's dress down day. But I'm ready to leave for work in like 15 minutes. So I just wanted to pop in and say good morning. Kind of let you know my progress. Um, and, and I will see you guys all later. Um, it's like 5.45. I am home from work. I got to um, go to the library. I had to go to the library and pick up a couple things. My hold of Again But Better was ready, so I picked that up because I want to try to read it in June. Um, I could apply this to the readathon as a book I wouldn't normally read, um, or I have a couple other readathons in happening in June that I can apply it towards, as well as it's just going to be a summer contemporary that I can go ahead and try to read. Um, but I did also actually find a couple of graphic novels that I'm super excited to read, so I figured I would show you guys really quick. I ended up finding a copy of Paper Girls Volume 4, which I'm super excited to read. It's the next one in the volume that I need to, it's the next in the series I need to read. I um, really enjoy this series, um, and it's a lot of fun. I could even technically apply this to the readathon because it's a sequel, it's a graphic novel, um, but it's the next one I needed to read, and I happened to see it at the library, so I figured I'd pick it up and give it a read. Um, I also found... A Sleepless Volume 1. This is written by Sarah Vaughn and a couple other people. I've been kind of seeing this surface at my local bookstore um, and my local uh, comic book store. I honestly don't know much about it. I know it's a fantasy series um, and that's all I really need. And it says here, in the kingdom of Harmony, Lady Poppy is kept safe by her faithful sleepless knight. But when a new king is crowned, an assassin targets her, ushering in a dangerous chapter in her, to her life. As Poppy and Seinrich work to discover who wants her dead, they must navigate the treacherous, treacherous waters of life at court and of their growing feelings for one another. Oh, so it's actually from one of the creators of Alex and Ada, Sarah Vine, um, and then a co-creator of Shudder, uh, Lila del duca and a couple other people and it says here it comes a, a ethereal fantasy tale woven from the rich tapestries of the human condition so i figured it was worth a read and also got a adorable little like i don't know what it is it's like a fox dog thing um but it's really cute and so i figured it was worth a try um and if I don't like it, you know, it's from the library, so I'm not lost out on anything. It's quite a chunker, actually, for a graphic, for like, the first volume of a graphic novel series. But I uh, was really intrigued by the cover when I saw it and just seemed kind of cute. So I figured I'd give it a read. Maybe I'll get to it this month. Maybe I won't. But I picked this up. And the last graphic novel I picked up, I'm actually super excited to read, and that is The Exile, which is the um, adaptation of uh, Outlander from Jamie's point of view. Um, this is something that has been on my TBR, and I haven't been, like, really itching to like, go buy a copy, but I happened to see it at my library, and um, I am in, like, Outlander drought right now because it's on hiatus. And I'm always looking for new ways to incorporate more Outlander into my life. So um, I figured this would be a lot of fun to read as well. I don't really know if it's like before Outlander, if it takes place during Outlander. No idea. Let's see here. 
Um, Diana Gabaldon's brilliant storytelling has captivated millions of readers in her best-selling and award-winning Outlander saga. Now in her first ever graphic novel, Gabaldon gives readers a fresh look at the events of the original Outlander, Jamie Fraser side of the story. After too long an absence, Jamie Fraser is coming home to Scotland, but not without great trepidation. Through his beloved, though his beloved grand uh, godfather Murtaugh promised Jamie's late. Okay, so yeah, it's basically um, the first season or first book of Outlander from Jamie's point of view, and in graphic novel form. So I am really intrigued to read this. It's going to be also really interesting to see um, their take of how Jamie and uh, Claire look. Um, but this will be a really fun read this month as well. So, library haul. Um, I don't really know what my plan is for the rest of the night. I do need to um, upload my reading vlog, so I'll probably do that. Watch an episode of Supernatural and eat dinner. And then might pick up Melmoth or maybe try to pick up Aurora Rising. Don't really know. I do have to work tomorrow, so I don't plan on staying up too late. Um, I'm hoping that tomorrow isn't super busy so that I can get a little bit of reading done. Um, I did end up reading a little bit of Melmoth while I was at work today. I think I only got like a few pages read. Um, yeah, I got like 10 pages read, so nothing too crazy, but um, I'm pretty intrigued by it. It's really interesting and kind of has sucked me in, actually. Um, it's kind of super intrigued to find out what happened, but, um, and I will check with you guys a little bit later. Bye. Good morning, book two. Um, happy Saturday. Happy Pages of Thought on day six. Happy June 1st. Um, my hair is a mess today, um, but I, I'm too tired to deal with it, um, and I'm working all day today, so I'm just gonna go with it. Um, it's about 6.20 or so, I'm just ready to leave to go to work. I really quickly wanted to pop in and leave, but now I'm actually gonna go ahead and bring Paper Girls Volume 4 with me today, um, because graphic novels are easy reads while I'm at work. Because I don't have to get super invested, um, and they're pretty quick. And this is also a graphic novel, it's also a sequel, so depending on how the rest of the readathon goes, I could count it. Um, so yeah, I'm going to bring this. If I finish this, and I do still have time, um, bring them off as well. I haven't made any progress in this um, yet. I'm still, I'm still um, only like 25 pages in, but I am super intrigued by this. I don't know, just, I feel kind of sloppy the last few days. I don't know what's wrong with you guys. Um, I'm like excited about reading, but I'm also super sloppy, so I don't know. But I'm gonna go ahead and bring these two things with me. Hopefully Paper Girls will kind of put me um, back into wanting to run into read. Um, and then I don't know what the plan is for tonight. Tomorrow's my one day off after working six days. Well five and a half days, um, and I don't know, I mean, that's why I'm just like losing steam because I've worked a lot this week, and I'll check with you guys a little later, and I'll check with you guys a little later, bye. <laughs>
Um, I might pick up Melmoth, I might have to pick up something else, I don't quite know yet. Um, and I will check with you guys a little bit later. Bye. starting to upload all of my clips so that I can start editing this vlog um, and I is I am currently listening to the audiobook for um, In an Absent Dream by Sean McGuire which is the fourth book in the Wayward Children series um, absolutely loving it such a great narrator and I think this might be my favorite one so far but um, I am like halfway through so I've got a couple hours left and I've just been listening to that and uploading these clips. Um, my plan for today is my boyfriend and I are going to go see Rocketman and Godzilla. Um, don't know what I'm going to do as far as reading but I do know that my plan is I do know we are going to try to go see both of those today. Um, I will maybe bring you guys along with me and kind of show you a couple clips through the day. As far as reading, um, I don't know, maybe I might try to pick up Sleepless. Um, I might try to pick up Again But Better or just pick up The Exile. I'm not quite sure yet. Um, kind of up in the air. I do need to continue Melma, which I am enjoying. I, it's weird like I'm enjoying it, but I also don't have the urge to pick it up. Um, so we'll see what happens. I'm going to I'm going to go feed my puppy. Oh, but I'm going to go feed my puppy, and I will check in with you guys a little later. Bye.
just not going in for the night. My boyfriend and I went and saw Rocket Man. Really, really good. It gave it like an 85. And then saw Godzilla, which was fun. And um, gave it like a 72, 73. Um, not as bad as critics are saying it is. Not anything amazing. Um, but I uh, finished the audiobook for In an Absent Dream by Shonda McGuire, which is the fourth book in the Wayward Children series. Absolutely amazing. Loved it. Give it like four and a half, maybe even five stars. Um, probably think it might be my favorite in the series, but I really, really enjoyed it. And I was just listening to that as I was filling out my bullet journal for the month. Um, I don't know what I'm going to read tonight. I'm currently uploading my May book haul and I'm going to finish my book journal. Um, so yeah, it's kind of just a chill night. I do have to work tomorrow at 5.30. So I probably won't stay up too late. And I will see you guys later.